Well, good morning and welcome to St. Andrew's Online Worship. Uh, to the folks who have regularly be joining, uh, been joining us here, uh, hello and welcome back. If you happen to be joining us for the very first time this morning, um, a special welcome here. My name is Nancy Robinson and I, I am one of the worship leaders at St. Andrew's Church and we are so thrilled that you have joined us for worship this morning. Uh, a few quick announcements um, as we begin our time together and before we get into worship hopefully you've taken some time to uh, watch the loop at the beginning of the service and also to check uh, your e-news and I just want to say uh, a particular word about that um, we are in a time when it is going to be critical even more and more critical for us to be communicating and communicating well with one another so please um, just be checking in with the people uh, that you know are uh, connected to our church and make sure that they know the things that are happening and how we're moving forward uh, we know that there are still lots of questions we have not hammered everything out by any stretch of the imagination but um, it's very important that you make sure that you uh, listen to announcements here and that you check your e-news um, so that we can make sure that everybody is on the same page and is up to speed and just uh, share that word if you um, know that somebody hasn't isn't receiving e-news or um, isn't connected to us in this way please um, do your part in in helping us be uh, better communicators with uh, with our people so um, so a couple things from the from the loop uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel um, as we move forward with uh, live streaming in the fall it will be it most likely will be through our YouTube channel so um, it'll be easiest if you are connected in that way uh, still time to do that summer read if you've not had a chance to read the book there are those of us who already have who would be happy to share our copies but it's educated by Tara Westover fabulous read uh, this week is the last of the garden gatherings, uh, or sorry, no, the following week, August 25th, I think is the last of the garden gatherings. If you've not had a chance to hook up with some people yet, do so. Check in with Linda Ressler. It's been a great way to connect with people. Um, we will come to a point in our service later on um, that is technically uh, devoted to uh, the, our giving time, our offering time, and um, so a big thank you uh, to those of you who have been consistent givers throughout this time of COVID. Um, thank you for that. Uh, please continue to give into the fall as um, there likely will be more uh, expenses that come up uh, and are related to our reopening. You can do that by e-transfer. You can do that by uh, pre-authorized remittance. You can do that by dropping your givings off to uh, the church through the week when Kathy is in the office. Um, or you can stop by the church after service uh, each week, 11.30 to 12.30, um, and there'll be some folks in the parking lot to receive your giving, and you can also get a bowl of soup and usually somebody's delicious baking. So um, we give because God has been so generous to us, and we give out of uh, a response um, to God's goodness. And so thank you for uh, your continued giving. Uh, that it helps carry on the ministries of our church. It supports our benevolent fund that is regularly asked, is accessed uh, to help people who are um, in times of particular need. So um, God loves a cheerful giver. Give cheerfully, friends. Uh, we also want to be praying for one another. So much thanks goes out to the team that has been meeting uh, every weekday morning at 10 a.m. to be praying for us. Uh, we are hoping to reestablish the prayer list that used to appear in the bulletin, um, but to refresh that and uh, and send that out via the e-news. So uh, if you are in need of prayer or if you have permission from somebody to give us their name to be praying for and to be publishing in our e-news, um, we would happily be praying for them uh, on a, in our regular prayer times, um, both corporately and individually. Uh, as we aim towards the fall, um, lots of ways to get involved and there will continue to be ways to be involved that I'm sure we haven't even dreamed up yet. So um, don't be shy. Uh, feel free to um, connect with uh, any of the staff from the church um, and say, how can I help? What are, what are the areas that I might be able to help s serve in? And, um, it, it would, it's, it is so 
thrilling actually to to be a part of uh, the kingdom work that God does. So consider uh, how you might how you might reopen yourself to um, to service uh, this fall. Uh, courtyard worship next Sunday and the following Sunday. Reverend Diane will be in our courtyard leading a simple service of prayer, scripture, some recorded music, and her sermon. If you uh, would like to be uh, outdoors in worship with some folks together, that'll be the next two Sundays, August 23rd and the 30th. We continue to worship online, and we will continue to worship online um, for hopefully forever, actually. We're trying to figure out live streaming. So um, we, you'll, you'll still be able to find us with through that YouTube link, but if you would like to be in the courtyard August 23rd and 30th, that's available to you. Back to school blessing time on um, August 27th, I think, 7 p.m. in the, uh, the parking lot, and there'll be a little tailgate party um, there as well. Those details were in the e-news and in the loop. Uh, so please do check those out and contact Diane Viney about that. Um, and then the last thing that I do just want to remind us about is that we are uh, intending to reopen on September the 6th or to restart worship, in in-person worship. Our goal is September the 6th, 10 o'clock in our very own sanctuary. Um, we've had some band members who've said, yep, they are ready to roll with that. Um, we, it will be following uh, the protocols set out for us by our reopen task force. Um, so you'll be required to wear a mask and to sit at a distance from other people. Um, but uh, we are kind of excited and nervous uh, a little bit about that. But so please, please be praying about that. Please be praying about whether or not that's something that you should be at just yet. Um, certainly, if you are not ready to be in an enclosed space with other people, um, you can still worship online with us. Um, but if you are ready to be back, um, that's an exciting thing to be looking forward to. Please watch for registration info. We will have to have you sign up for that. Um, the hope is that that will be actually right on our church website. Uh, we'll let you know when that is live um, for that September 6th service. So I think those are all the announcements. Please, please, please check your e-news. Uh, double check the, the announcement loop at the beginning. And uh, before we launch into worship, um, I'm going to skip over to the interview I recorded earlier this week with our very own Cassandra Matthews, who is in the pulpit today. So uh, here comes Cass.